could uh, start at zero. One fifteen point zero and nineteen point five percent body fat. Good morning, happy Saturday, happy four weeks out from my show. I had a good morning this morning, weighed myself. There was definitely some progress there, but that wasn't really what I was happy about. As I usually say, the scale doesn't really say much. What I was happy to see was actually some definition in my legs. Right now my legs is the, the focal point of my training and my dieting because they're the last to come in. I woke up this morning and I felt pretty good about how they looked and I took some photos, well Skylar did. Sent them to my coach, he seemed happy with that but he told me we're still sticking to all the recent changes which I was hoping maybe that was gonna be a different response. Anyways, on my way to do cardio. So awesome. What up? Just uh, at my mom's house. I got some really good news that the suit lady, the company and also just the woman that sold me my suit is actually going to be at the competition. She's going to help me be all fitted into it properly the day of. I was really nervous about that because I've tried it on. Once on my own I tried to and couldn't even do it up and was freaking out. So she's going to be at the hotel or at the competition at a booth fitting everybody so that was awesome news also not feeling like super shredded or anything but this is like i don't know this whole thing is very i don't know that's what i look like these guys all up in there you can take pizza. a picture okay they don't appreciate the pizza yeah they don't appreciate it Good morning. Uh, we are about to go for a family breakfast at a local diner. For sure, 100%, I will not be able to eat anything there. So I already ate and I had some delicious egg whites for breakfast. And now I am just packing up my food for the rest of the day because we're going to be on the road. I'm going to go to my posing class. I'm going to meet with my coach, have a check-in. I got my little bag of treats and BCAAs and my water and it's going to be an adventure today. See that big mess on the floor? That's what happens when you drop your BCAAs and they splatter everywhere, including all over you. Not pretty. That's how I started this cardio session. I'm 50 minutes into a 60 minute stair climbing session. My first hour session. And then I have back and biceps. I'm gonna do it because you know what? We're close to the end. So now it's time to go all out. So we are.
so haven't filmed very much today but uh, I had my leg day got her done did my hour of cardio that I'm supposed to be doing every day now and unfortunately when I was at the gym partway through my workout I felt a little twinge in my lower back and I did the wrong thing which is why I just tried to ignore it and keep working out and I finished my workout and that really hurts to bend up and down and to bend forward so I'm just laying down on the couch right now and hoping that a night's rest it'll be gone pretty much the worst thing to happen is to get injured at this stage in the game because I've put in like 12 weeks of prep and I only have three weeks and five days left, so it'd be really shitty to go down with an injury. So, really hoping that I feel better tomorrow. So, I'm on my way home from work this morning. I did not sleep very well. I had a hard time because my back and when I woke up this morning, it was still really painful to get up and bend over and all that wonderfulness. When Skylar took me to work, I proceeded to burst into tears when I talked to my boss and had like a complete emotional breakdown in front of her. Luckily, I have a doctor's appointment at noon. Skylar refused to leave me at work and came back and got me. We're going back home so I can lay around and stare at the ceiling until my appointment and <laughs> try not to be freaked out that I put in 12 weeks of prep and now this is happening which is the pretty much one of the worst things that can happen is you get injured but it could be fine I could be fine anyways we're going home now and we'll let you know how the appointment goes later hashtag first world problems. Now I'm just finishing up some of my broccoli and chicken from my second meal and we are on our way to the clinic to see what they have to say. Oh my gosh, so just finished in Catalyst Clinic. They are angels sent from heaven. I was so adamant that I'm in contest prep and I'm in this bodybuilding competition and like I was literally sweating when I was in there explaining my situation. He told me what was wrong with my lower back. I can't even remember, it's all a blur. And when I first went in there, I was like hobbling into his office, like Mr. Burns, and crippled over. And by the time he was finished with me, I like was walking up, standing straight, and just feel this immense amount of pressure being lifted off of my lower back. I literally feel like a different person right now. I'm just so happy. Maybe this is the universe's way of kicking my ass into gear because I'm so thankful and excited and glad that I can just keep going with what I've been doing. Thank you, universe. Thank you, Catalyst Clinic. And thank you, Skylar, who's just off getting some food for being so patient with me because I literally lost my mind today again. Hi, friends. So I am on my way to the gym. Yesterday was pretty rough. So energy levels are low. Plus I was a bit emotional yesterday because I was very worried that I wouldn't be able to finish this goal of mine, which I've been working towards for quite a while. I have a massage tonight as well. So doing everything I can to be safe. I got the go ahead to do cardio. And that's what I'm gonna go do. It really would have been heartbreaking at this point to have to quit. Good morning. I am currently enjoying one of Skylar's amazing coffees. <sighs> Today is gonna to be a better day because my back still hurts, but I am sleeping better. I had a massage last night, which was awesome. I'm so glad I already had that booked. Um, it hurts to bend forward and I can't do any like weight-bearing exercises like squats or deadlifts right now, but that's okay. And we are like three weeks and two days out. 
I forgot to mention earlier that today is March 1st, which means it's March, which means it's the month that my competition is happening. And I cannot believe it. I've started filming this series in December, December 2nd, and now it is March 1st. We are in the freaking home stretch. Thank goodness, finally. I have a little bit more energy than usual. I don't know why. Everything's been staying the same with my diet and working out. But um, I just have a new appreciation for being able to work out right now and to be able to finish off this journey. And I want to do whatever I can to just finish strong in less than four weeks. Oh my God, I'm so excited. T-G-I-F, happy Friday. Just on my way to do cardio. It's crazy, but I actually think having the one day of laying down on my back earlier this week actually has given me so much energy. I never realized how taking a break from the gym would actually affect my energy levels because the rest of this week has been so much different than the previous weeks. And also my mood has been so much better. So I'm not so tired and sensitive and unable to handle the slightest bit of change or stress. I cannot believe it, tomorrow is gonna to be three weeks out. It's so crazy. This is kind of the mental part of the process that I was striving to get to because three weeks I can handle. Three weeks. No prop. 16 props. Just doing my 15 minutes of cardio because I have to break it up. I don't have enough time on my lunch anymore to do it all. So finishing that off. And then I have shoulders. And then I have to go home and eat. Super exciting. Super duper exciting stuff. One thing that I feel like bodybuilders or fitness competitors don't talk about enough is that the requirements for water, like you have to drink a lot of water, and I already drink a lot of water because it's really good for you, but this is a lot of water. And so of course you have to pee like, for me, it's like every 20 minutes. Even at night, like I'm waking up like three times a night, like I'm scared to leave my house. I have to pee so much. Luckily, I work a nine to five right now, so I'm at an office where there's a bathroom, but like, I can't even get any work done because I'm getting up every five minutes to go to the bathroom. So, it's a thing. It's really annoying. And it feels like I have to pee my pants because there's so much water. So, be warned. If you want to do this, this is one of the things. You'll pee your pants. Definitely a little bit 
cleaner because you can see them veins are popping. But I'm actually kind of proud to say I haven't really lost a ton of weight. I think I've lost like four pounds so far, which means I was pretty lean to start with and I haven't lost a ton of muscle. This is what I look like. There. 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 Clearly nobody else is having a party in the gym on a Friday. I also just wanted to show you this. This is what I've been carrying around with me and drinking at work. Looks like I'm drinking some sort of all-purpose cleaner. I've seen all the, the cool bodybuilders on YouTube carrying these around and I thought it was pretty cool. So this is how I can keep track of how much water I'm drinking and making sure I'm getting enough. I'm supposed to drink two of these. Currently, I'm on number one still. The peeing. Like, it's, it's getting almost embarrassing. I'm scared to be not within 30 feet of a toilet in fear of peeing my pants. It's another fabulous part of this experience. I should just add that this is BCAA's watermelon flavor. Branch chain amino acids don't hurt ya. And there's vegan ones out there for all my vegan friends. If you want to look like a bodybuilder, just carry one of these around. Alright, so I don't maybe look the best right now because we got, I recently got some news that wasn't the best about a family member. So that sucks, but that's life. And anyways, Skylar made cauliflower sriracha. What else is in them? They're like, um, they're kind of like Korean cauliflower bites. Show you. They are not for me to eat yet, but in three weeks and like nine hours or something? Three weeks and nine hours? Three weeks and nine hours? I don't know. Skylar is a really, really good cook. So, one thing that I've missed is eating their food, and I think one thing they've missed is me eating their food. We used to have dinner together all the time when I got home from work. Sometimes they would make me lunch. So that's something we're both looking forward to when this is over. Anyways, I just wanted to wrap this up and say goodnight. We are not doing anything too exciting except for laundry, which is what Fridays are for. So. <laughs> My Fridays are for laundry. Okay. Goodnight.